This is the instruction video for the MR radiomics platform. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the radiomics features from multi-modality MR images. In the previous video, I have already showed you how to create the RIs using this platform. We take this subject as an example that we have already created different set of the RI including the enhancing region and the post-contrast T1 weighted image. Also, we have the region of the edema. So as you can see right here, we also have a set of RI that covers whole tumor area, including the solid tumor necrosis and the edema regions. Before the calculation of the radiomic features, there is one more step that you can do. This is not a mandatory one, but uh, is a very useful option. There is a button named Wavelet Decomposition. This will perform 3D Wavelet Decomposition. It only takes a, a few seconds to a couple of minutes. Once the decomposition process is done, several different image contrasts were created. By following the uh, labeling right here, you can see this one is the original uh, post-contrast T1 weighted images. And uh, there are eight different images right here, followed by uh, a number 1 to 8, and also three characters. The characters are labeled by the, either the L or by the H. These three characters stand for the filter, either the low-pass filter or high pass filter along three different directions. So this is actually a three dimensional wavelet decomposition. So now you can see this one, this is the original one. This one is that you apply the low pass filter along three different axes. The result is pretty similar to the original one, but a little bit more smooth. And you can see the second one in the image processing. High pass filter will result in the edge detection or enhance the edge features in the image. These eight different wavelet images were derived from the original one. Similarly, you can find another eight image sets for the flare imaging. This is the original one. This is the one of the wavelet decomposed image, and so on and so forth. You may also find all the files uh, within the subjects folders. So here is the original images. You can also find all the wavelet decomposed images right here. And now we can calculate the radiomics features on each image contrast. First of all, you need to select the RIs that you'd like to perform the radiomics analysis. For example, we can pick several RIs of the enhanced region. Remember that you need to pick at least two consecutive slices. So the 3D analysis, including the balloon, and the texture analysis can be correctly computed. So right here, I only select the six slices covering a part of the enhanced region. And then you can click the Export as Excel button right here. Now you can select the file name right here, or you may keep the default value. Again, the default name is the a patient ID with the underlying RI.xlsx file. Now I clicked Save. A new uh, sequence selection window right here will let you select the sequence that you'd like to perform the radiomic analysis. I pick several right here to give you a demonstration. And then program will go through each image sequence right here and perform radiomic analysis, including histogram analysis, shape and size analysis, 
as well as the uh, texture analysis. If you want to select O, you can simply collect the select O button right here, then the program will select the all the sequence. But right here, we may select only six of them. Click OK. And then it will take several minutes, depends on how many image sequence and the RIs you selected for the computation. Once the calculation is done, you will see a message window right here indicating that the file export is done. Click OK, then you can go to the subject folder. And now let's locate the exported Excel file right here. This one, double click it. They have several shifts in this Excel file. In the very beginning one, the first shift, you will see it recorded the, the applied imaging sequence right here, including uh, the original T1 weighted imaging. Also, the web-related composed T1 weighted imaging. The original uh, T2 flare imaging right here, and also two different web-related composed images right here. As we selected before, we applied the radiomics analysis in these six different uh, image sequence. The order right here is very important because in the following sheets, the exported radiomics features will follow the same sequence order. So the first column right here stands for the first image sequence. And the second column right here represents the second selected image sequence. Remember, we have six selected image sequence. We will have six columns right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six columns for the six selected image sequence. And in this uh, sheet two, you will see this one is the uh, first order or histogram statistics features right here. And the next feature, you will see uh, the value for the shape and the size best features. You can see that only the first column uh, is presented because even you apply the shape and the size analysis to different image sequence, they are basically the same. So I only calculate these features in the first image sequence. In the next sheet, you can see this is the uh, so-called conventional uh, texture features, which based on the gray level co-occurrence matrix and the gray level run length matrix. In the next sheet, you can see this is the histogram features of the LBP local binary pattern features right here. And in the final feature, it will be the SIFT features. If you want to know more about how to calculate and what's the meaning behind all these features, you can read our manuscript as well as the supplementary materials.